every hour and a half the factory opens and you get a chance at destroying it. And if you do, you have a 1 in 5 chance at getting one of the best PvP items in all of Blocks Fruits, which I sadly have actually never played with. I don't know why. Uh, when I first got it, I was just like, okay, cool. Looks kind of boring. But guys, the Ascidium Rifle is well known for being absolutely ridiculous at PvP. And today we're going to be trying it out just to see how good it truly is. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to have to redistribute my stat points because right now it is all about the gun. All right, let's try this thing out on a random enemy just to see how much damage it really does. Oh, wait, it's over time damage. That does like four different hits. Oh boy, that's actually really, really good. Okay, the reload is a little bit slow though, I gotta say. There it is, baby. Our very first levels in the Ascidium Rifle. Now starting things off, we're gonna be taking down the idiot himself, Mr. Stone. Now, I feel like in general, the Ascidium Rifle is just known for its like combo potential. Now, right now I don't have any of the abilities, so we can't combo quite yet, but oh boy, we're gonna be comboing these pools. <laughs> Now, guys, Mr. Stone himself is all, all around pretty easy. He's known for being the easy boss. But, guys, the bosses are going to start getting a lot harder very quickly. But in all honesty, if I didn't have the Ascidium Rifle right now, this would have kind of sucked. <laughs> but come on, please give me the first ability. Yes, we got it. We got the spiky bomb. I don't even know what that is. What is this going to do? Boom. Oh my god! Big explosion. Okay, so if I just shoot someone, it does 3,400 damage, which is honestly kind of a lot. But then it kind of shocks me when I shoot someone with the spiky bomb. It does the same amount of damage as just a regular shot? What? I have a feeling that the acidic smoke is just gonna have to be crazy good. Well, regardless, let's move on to the next boss. All right, guys, next up, we have the Empress herself. Now, this time around, because she's actually gonna be quite a lot more difficult, we might have to start throwing in some of our dark abilities. Now, I very strategically chose dark because it's known for comboing into the acid rifle extremely well. So let's see if I bonk. Haha, <laughs> free shot. Also, the range on this thing is really, really good. Like, she can't even touch me right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Call of Duty, man. It honestly feels like I'm playing Arsenal right now. <laughs> And boom. Yeah, I don't really even think I took damage during that entire fight. Uh, yeah, so long to uh, needing to use the dark fruit, dude. What the heck? I'm starting to really, really like this gun. It is incredibly powerful. But on that note, it's about time. And we take on my least favorite overworld boss. It's about time that we take on the beautiful pirate. Kabang! Boom. Easy 7,000 damage. Can I just say? That's actually insane. A weapon that if I were to stun them, let's say, um, oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, the endless hole. Boom. Okay, there. Uh, you can actually trap someone in there. If you can just get a quick 7,000 damage off, that's insane. Like, pretty much no skill required. Okay, I'm gonna have to start getting a little bit more careful. I don't wanna die. Okay, they're about halfway dead right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they rebirth. Uh-oh. Dude, the range on this weapon is actually insane as well. Like, I feel like it can hit from across the map. Uh-oh, I just shot the guy on accident. Oh boy, they're about to die. <laughs> Dude, we're doing so much damage. Actually insane. All right, guys, they just died. And look at that, please. We are about to reach level 200, which would mean we could use the acidic smoke. Now, that is what I am truly after because I think that's the ability that is so famous for its PvP potential. Okay, so now it's about time that we take on this idiot right here. Now, just with how slow he is, honestly, if, any, if you ever have to fight someone slow with this gun, there is about a 0% chance you actually die. Like, what is he even doing? But look at the range, though. Like, that is incredible range. Yeah, just you stand there while I just shoot you in the head. And with that, come on, are you dead yet? What are you doing there, buddy? There you go. 199. Are you actually joking right now? Come on, man. Well, we should be able to just kill someone on the way to our next target. Luckily. And I think you shall be the one. There we go. Level 200. And we just unlocked acidic smoke. Now, all right, so I just loaded it. Let's see. Boom. And it's just poof. It's just a little poof of fart. It's like fart spray. Here, let's sh let's just shoot some one of these guys. With. Let's see how much damage it does. Boom. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. If they are stuck in the poison, if I Ascidium rifle the ground and then hold people stuck with the endless hole, they will take so much damage. I'm kind of starting to understand what I need to be doing here, boys. <laughs> well, anyway, I think it's about time that we take on the fattest lady in the Blocks Fruits universe. Wait, a barrier has been broken? Oh my god. Wait, we might just have to do that first. Rip Indra, I'm coming for you. Oh, baby, here we go. And here they are. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I just, I think I just hit the wrong guy. 
guy. <laughs> I think I just hit a, I think I just hit a random pedestrian. God, this dude has so much health. Honestly, it's a bit ridiculous. Come on, man. It's your time to die already. Wait, what? I didn't get any XP for that? I just earned three levels, which does nothing for me. Is I max level? Oh, that is actually so sad. <laughs> well, at least he's dead now. All right, back to the fattest lady in the universe. All right, let's take her down. All right, baby. It's your time to die. Now, guys, I've been doing a little bit of practicing to see what a combo with the acid rifle would be like. And I think I'm getting a pretty good idea. Here, check this out. X, Z, and then... Ah! Yeah, stick him. Hey. Yeah, guys, I think if you get the acid bomb and acid smoke out at the same time and then trap them in the endless hole, bro, there's no chance that they are surviving. Or even just the acid smoke. Actually, the acid smoke makes a little bit more sense. Look at that. They're stuck in the smoke. Oh, boy, that's a lot of damage. Okay, this is pretty good stuff. And they should be dead. There it is, baby. Give me some more levels. Honestly, that one was honestly a little bit of a joke. Very, very easy. But guys, that is about to stop. I think for our next opponent, we're going to be having to do a lot of combos and it's actually gonna be quite difficult especially to do solo hey queen she is there she's waiting for me <sighs> okay guys here we go okay we're gonna have to keep our distance even though this room is really really small wait what if i just lured her out here okay, come on come on here come on here right here right here oh my god oh i can't do this Oh, oh my god. Okay, she can definitely still blast my head off, though. Shish. Oh my god. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, wait, we're being trapped outside. This is not good. Okay, lure her off. We're gonna have to go in quick. Okay, boom. Whew. We gotta not get hit by that blast, because that is so powerful. Oh my god, wait, they're actually dying. Now, I'm trying to do a couple combos here and there, just like, you know, using the, what I'm gonna call the double whammy. Bing, pong, and a trap him, like so. I've been trying a couple things just like that, but yeah, just the acid rifle itself is super powerful. Like, I can't believe that I'm still pretty much at full health. Dude, they're actually about to die, and I have barely Barely any damage taken. And come on, final shot. Boom, boom. How many more does it take? One more. There it is, baby. Oh my God, dude. This rifle is so good. But guys, how did we take down every single boss in the third C? It's about time that we try this out with a little bit of PvP. We are gonna try out what this weapon is truly made for. So I made my way to the second C and oh boy, can I just say the damage on this thing is really, really nice. But uh, also, if you want to actually be using a gun in PvP, boy, your aim better be good. Uh, this right here is one of the more awkward clips where I tried to get this guy for a very long time. And he just kept running away and I literally missed every single one of my shots. Honestly, I should have just started a combo and, uh, you know, got him in with someone else, something else. But uh, I thought of that a little bit too late. But accidentally, I stumbled into this other guy. And oh boy, bro, he was not ready for my Ascidium rifle. He was about to get messed up. And eventually, a couple shots later, I finally took him down. I got my first kill, baby. Let's go. 